Hi guys, this is Lucas from the Rats on Ice blog and YouTube channel, and today talking men's Olympic hockey game day two. Uh, today there was four games played. Finland and Austria played the first game, and Finland doubled them up 8-4, to four, completely dominating this game as they had 52 shots in the whole game. Uh, six different players scored for Finland. Barkov, in his first game for the Finnish team in the Olympics, had a plus one, one assist. So definitely a huge, huge game for him. Um, Austria actually ended up having a lead in this one, two to one. And it looked, didn't look too well for them, for Finland, but then Finland just came out big time as they scored, ended up scoring six unanswered goals to make it a 7-2 to two game and absolutely salt this one away for them. Um, and Austria ended up with 20 shots on the game. So game two, we had Russia and Slovenia. Russia easily winning this one 5-2. to two. They out, actually outshot uh, Slovakia in one of the periods, 18 to four. So that was the second period. Um, Ovechkin had a goal and an assist in this one, so Russia easily handling Slovenia in that one. Um, in the game, the U.S. game, first game of the um, 2014 Sochi Olympics, USA absolutely crushed Slovakia, seven to one. It was close, uh, one to one in, in the second period, but then USA scored six unanswered goals in that second period, salted away to make it seven to one after two. Um, Halak actually ended up getting pulled in this one after giving up five goals, and Budai ended up coming in, giving up the last two for um, Slovakia. As six different players for the U.S. scored, 11 of them, of the players for the U.S. had at least one point. So everyone playing an integral part in that blowout win for the United States. Um, <clears throat> then the last game, Canada and Norway, huge on Twitter. Anytime Canada plays, it's always huge. But it wasn't the blowout that everyone is expecting, and definitely... Um, if I was a Canadian fan, I kind of would be worried right now. They only won 3-1 to against Norway. If anything, one of the weaker clubs in this Olympics. And Norway actually played pretty well. They actually, it was 2-1 to one at one point in, this, in the third period. So Norway could have had a chance to even steal a point against Canada. Uh, they actually held Canada scoreless after one period as well. So... They definitely played them well. Um, Canada did pick it up, though, in the second period. They outshot Norway 14-2 to in that period where they got both of their goal, two of their goals, and then they added, each team added one in third. So, we're going to tomorrow's games. you got the Czech Republic against um, Lafia. I do believe the Czech Republic should win that one. Sweden and Switzerland... Definitely going to take Sweden on that one. Canada and Austria. I think Canada is going to come out with a little bit more firepower. A little bit more fire under their butt um, to say for this one against Austria. I think Austria is going to kind of get blown out like really bad. I think, uh, I'm expecting probably a good seven, if not more, goals by the Canadian team tomorrow against Austria. And then Finland and Norway. Norway's going to come in with a little bit of confidence after holding the Canadian team to three goals. Um, but Finland, again, had a big, big win. And I don't think they're going to slow down at all. And I definitely am going to take Finland in that game. So that's my recap of today's action. If you guys like these videos, please like the video, comment. I do comment back. Uh, subscribe to my channel as well. Definitely would appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Have a good night.